Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Let's get right into it, Taurus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of August 2020. All right, Taurus. Okay, so what they're showing me here is what they're saying is stay optimistic about your love life. I'm feeling that for some of you guys, it's been a very difficult journey, especially those of you guys that are single or have been single for quite a while. I feel like you've gone from going from relationship to relationship and not being able to find a stable relationship where you've gotten to the point where you kind of embrace your singlehood or you've embraced your singlehood now. Um... Now, what they are saying here is that it's important for you to stay optimistic about your love life. Oftentimes, I hear clients say, you know, if I don't find a person that is right for me, I am okay because I'm completely happy and I'm completely content. But yet, when they come to me, they come to me for readings that have to do with love. So that tells me that they want love. Deep down inside, they are in the search of finding love. But circumstances, situations, or experiences in the past have got them to the point of being a bit resentful, perhaps even cynical when it comes to love and romance. So they're closed off. Now, when you think about it, deep down inside, if you have the desire to manifest, let's just say, a long-term committed relationship, but you're often in the state of mind of repeating to yourself that you don't need anyone or that you're happy and you're content being single, then you're sending off two different signals. And oftentimes, when we do that, we find ourselves in relationships with people that often don't know what it is that they want. Why? Because we are mirroring that energy. That's exactly what we put out, and that's exactly what the universe brings to us, or that's exactly who we gravitate towards, people that are emotionally closed off and don't know what they want. Why? Because that's the energy you're coming into that connection. So again, it's about being mindful about how you think or what you think when it comes to love. Now, you also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations here. For some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have or are currently in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that for the past year, for some of you guys, um, things have gotten drastically shifted there's this this shift in energy where at some point perhaps you felt like uh, the desire or the attraction towards these other each other was kind of fading and now it's almost a feeling like uh, you guys are really putting effort towards attracting each other or being playful with each other or making time for each other so it's this honeymoon type of energy where everything is exciting and it's, everything is new. And I feel that for some of you guys, that this could represent like um, renewed type of energy. Now, what they are showing here is playfulness. Again, we go back to those of you guys that are single. There is a need to not approach love in a very serious manner. It's kind of like you've forgotten how to flirt. <laughs> now, this could be... Uh, this could be a metaphor, but for some of you guys, this could just ring very true. Where you even feel like awkward when people flirt with you because you kind of lost touch uh, on how to do that uh, or how to, uh, you know, be playful, like I said. Now, this could also represent that you're, you know, closed off, like I said. So there is a need to approach romance in a playful manner. Whenever you go out on dates or whenever you start to conversate or get to know someone, don't take it so seriously. Don't put in your head, if this person doesn't have these specific ideals that I'm looking for in a partner, then this is not the one. Because when you approach relationships that way, if you yourself are not ready or you yourself are sending, like I said, two different signals, um, you also have work to do. So we attract what we are so what i'm trying to tell you here is that what spirit is telling you is you need to be playful with this when it comes to dating when it comes to attracting when it comes to romance itself um don't see it as i'm going to go out on the first date and if we don't hit it off and there's no sparks and fireworks 
then they're not the one because that's not how real love works. Real love takes time. Relationships take time to build, to build some type of connection, some type of rapport. So again, what they're telling you here is take it easy. Take a step back. Like I said, when you're going on dates or getting to know someone, be playful with it. Have fun. Uh, take you know that burden off your shoulders of going into it with expectation. Don't. Um, it's okay to say this is exactly what I want and this is exactly the type of energy I'm trying to pull towards me. That's absolutely okay because you're certain about what it is that you want. But when it comes to dating itself, you have to learn to be a little bit more free, to be a little bit more playful, to be a little bit more easygoing and grounded, Taurus. Um, this is really going to change how things progress when it comes to love and romance. And finally, we do have the true love card. This is the romance of a lifetime. So for a lot of you guys, and I want to say those of you guys that are extremely uh, or have been extremely single for a while, they're telling you stay optimistic, stop being cynical when it comes to love because you know deep down inside that's exactly what you want. Attraction. Give or let people, like when people flirt with you, flirt back. Don't be so scared. Don't be so much in your head, Taurus. And true love will step in. But again, you have to do that work on yourself. You have to be certain about what it is that you want. You have to learn to have fun and don't go into dates expecting them to propose or marry you within a week, which I know that's not Taurus, nothing like Taurus. But what I'm saying here is oftentimes we take it too serious and we forget that getting to know someone is a process where there shouldn't be very much expectations to keep it free, to keep it light, to keep it fun. Okay, now I'm going to be pulling out two cards and these are the energies that are currently working around you. Now we have the ninth house seeking. For some of you guys, I feel that there is a person that's going to be coming in for some. It could be foreign. It could be a person that is either from a different race, different ethnicity, different background. Um, this is a person that is very well educated. This could be you as well wanting to seek higher learning uh you know for some of you guys this could be that you are going through a transition of spiritual awakening of wanting to experience life of wanting to expand wanting to grow your consciousness or wanting to uh you know just travel and have different experiences you also have mars which is the action card this is all to do with desire, impulses, courage. I feel that for a lot of you guys, like I said, some of you guys have been tainted. Some of you guys have disconnected with that of love. And it's almost like sometimes it feels like love is even foreign to you. Um, if someone smiles at you, it's like you don't know what to do with <laughs> I see you guys so much in your head. So what Spirit is telling you is take action in embracing new connections or people that come into your life and learn to be playful learn to have fun with it um don't be very judgy taurus i hope this gives you guys some kind of insight and assistance and we'll see each other soon bye